The city of Wichita Falls is still feeling the effects of the February winter storm. And like other cities in the Texoma area, Wichita Falls was handed a high electric bill as a result of that storm, a whopping $1.3 million. Yeah, PJ Green is joining us now with more. PJ, I think the question everyone wants answered is if this will affect residents' electric bills. Well, it won't, Lauren. Now, while the city has savings to pay the, to pay the bill in full, counselors say it would be nice to receive some help on this bill from state legislators. $1.3 million. Take that out of the city's water and sewer fund because it's going towards electricity costs as a result of winter storm URI. It, it would seem to me, and I think others, that ERCOT made some miscalculations about what was going on. And to allow the cap to go from 9,000 up to 20,000 plus seemed to be an error on their part. Energy prices and ancillary service prices soared. Ancillary services are products used by ERCOT to maintain grid reliability. The Texas Public Utilities Commission's independent market monitor recommended that ERCOT cap the prices at the energy price ceiling, but that was not implemented. Texas House Bill 4492 aimed to do the same, but was left on the governor's desk at the end of the legislative session. Again, the legis legislature strikes. Something involving millions of people in Texas, tens of thousands of businesses, many nonprofits that don't have a, a lot of money to even operate on. I think it's a travesty. While the council had several options to pay the bill, officials say it will be paid in a lump sum. And they chose the water and sewer fund because the city's highest usage occurs in those systems. We all know that we are a wholesale water provider, not just for the citizens of Wichita Falls, but for, what, 14 or 15 wholesale customers outside the city. We kept their water on, too, so they should Right, participate in these costs, and, and they will through this mechanism. Then Malik's given us time to get in front of council to do some talking about it, look at the repayment options. Um, you know, uh, we're we're blessed in the sense that at least we had that, but um, still, 1.3 million is a lot of dollars, and uh, you know, the citizens going to have to, you know, accept that we have to make that payment, much like every other municipality. A price tag that helped keep water flowing during one of the coldest times in Wichita Falls history. Now, if a change is made to the charges after the bill is paid as a result of legislation or lawsuit, the city can be reimbursed some of that bill. Okay, well, we'll see what happens there. All right, PJ, thanks so much for that report.